we are all i would like to welcome you all in the lecture series of basic electrical engineering in this session i am going to discuss one of the important topic the power rating of household appliances in this session i am going to cover what is the importance of power rating of household appliances what are the list of power rating and the corresponding rating of the important household appliances and why you are going to consider power rating of household appliances these are the important point which i am going to cover in this session this may be helpful for various competitive examination as well as university examination so stay tuned please don't miss the session completely and at the end of the session i am going to give one important inference that will be helpful for cracking various competitive examination let's get started have you ever heard about power rating of household appliances yes the power rating of household appliances the definition uh, the power rating of appliances tells us how much electrical power is consuming during the operation usually the power rating is expressed in the form of watts or kilowatts so it is usually mentioned in the name plate of different type of appliances for dc power supply for dc if i talk about like dc equipments we can compute power rating by multiplying the voltage and the current here we are going to consider power factor is unity for the dc supply if i talk about the ac appliances we need to consider uh, p is equal to vi cos phi cos phi is nothing but the power factor which is the cosine angle between voltage and current if i talk about the inductive loads power factor will be lagging if i talk about the capacity loading power factor will be leading that point you have to consider so for example I, I would like to talk about the induction motor we'll be talking about a point eight power factor lag point eight lag okay those points you have to remember if i talk about like a normal incandescent lamp so power factor will be one only there is no phase difference between voltage and current these are the points you need to remember by the way i just wanted to know that the power rating will be expressed in the form of watts or kilowatts for the large appliances it is better to mention in terms of uh, kilowatts for the lower rating it will be in the form of watts also uh, on some other cases i would like to inform you that for the motor it is in the form of horsepower you know that one one hp okay so one hp one horsepower uh, that is equal to uh, 746 watts 746 watts this point you have to remember in the case of motor if i talk about like a motor will be expressing the rate in the form of quarter hp half hp then 1.5 hp like that uh, don't get confused one hp is nothing but 746 watts that point you have to remember it will be like a uh, uh, the common term if i talk about any like a, a particular shop which they are going to sell the motor uh, they will be expressing the terms of uh, horsepower only now i would like to show you the detailed list of uh, the power rating of various household appliances in the first column you can see the list of appliances second column in the form of power rating in the form of watts and the third column you can see the remarks the first column let us see a light emitting diode led lamp the power rating varies in the form of uh, in the range of 5 watts to 20 watts it is high efficient lighting if i talk about the ceiling fan the range is in the between in between 60 watts to 80 watts it varies with the speed and the model okay that is another remarks i would like to inform you you might have heard about the discharge lamp or you can say like a fluorescent tube it is better to say fluorescent tube or tube light the rating will be 40 watts older model uh, the for the newer model it is uh, 18 watts led but older model it is 40 watts if i talk about the refrigerator the power rating varies between uh, 100 watts to 300 watts it depends on the size and technology you might have heard about the star rating uh, the as the star rate increases star rating increases power consumption also will be high it will be varies from uh, 100 watts to 300 watts i would like to talk about the television the power rating is varies between 50 watts to 200 watts so it depends on the lcd and led for led power consumption is very less if i talk about the washing machine it varies from 300 watts to 500 watts it depends on the motor and heater based if i talk about the microwave oven the power rating is extremely high it varies from uh, 800 watts to 1500 watts so if i talk about the specification power rating will be very high and uh, it depends on the type of machine used okay for the short duration itself power rating is very high another one is actually called the electric iron let us talk about the mixer grinder the power rating varies from 400 watts to 750 watts it depends on the motor rating correct and also like uh, depends on the like what kind of motor you are going to use if i talk about the ac you can see it is extremely power consumption it varies from 
1000 uh, watts to 2000 watts. It depends on what kind of compressor and uh, mo fan motor used. Other one is actually water heater or geyser. You can see here that is also very extreme in the range of uh, 100,000 watts to uh, 300 watts. High energy consumption is one of the uh, uh, noticeable fact. But if I talk about like LED lamp, if I'm using more number of LED, nothing, nothing will happen. Less number of uh, less energy consumption. Why? Because the power rating is very less. Energy consumption is nothing but power rating into time, right? So power rating into hours in the form of kilowatt hour or in the form of watt hour. So if I use LED bulb, we can say very clearly that power consumption that is very uh, power consumption of LED is very less. Uh, by the way, uh, energy consumption also will be very less. If I talk about like a water heater or geyser, see power rating is extremely high uh, as the usage is increasing. Uh, even energy consumption also very extremely high. That is another remarkable fact I wanted to inform you. So these are the important power rating of various appliances which are used. These are the like approximate range. Uh, if I want to have the exact range, it is better to go to the nameplate rating of individual appliances. So every devices there will be like a, like a nameplate nameplate rating as uh, that is the instruction. So according to that, you can see the what is the power rating of the equipment exactly that you can note out, right? Yeah. So uh, that is actually the general fact. Yes. Now let me ask one question. Uh, why do you consider power rating? Why it is very important? See, understanding the electricity bill. That's the most important thing. Then only we will come to know that one in a fine day we are receiving the electricity bill. What is a like a like how the electricity bill is calculated? Yes, we require power, then uh, duration, uh, then we require cost per unit. These are the major thing we need to get. What is the total power consumption or total? What is the total? Uh, energy bill or what is the total power consumption or what is the total electricity bill electricity bill i can calculate by considering power rating uh, then what kind of appliances how many number of appliances used and what is the duration how long you have been using that particular uh, device it helps to choose the right wiring and the protective devices okay power rating based on the power rating i can compute the current of course i can calculate the current based on the current i can decide what is the size of the wire required do i want to use 2.5 mm square or 1.5 mm square that i can decide uh, it ensure the safe and uh, efficient operation also it assists in load calculation for generators inverters and solar systems suppose i want to install the solar panel for example for uh, 3 kilowatts load how much panel i need to install that calculation also can be done based on the power rating. So that is what I would like to inform you that power rating is most important. So these are the factors that will be helping uh, based on the power rating. The In conclusion, I would like to say that it is always advisable to check the rating before purchasing the appliances. That is most important. Don't uh, like uh, buy uh, high power rating equipment because if I use high power rating equipment, like more electricity consumption, more energy consumption that will be happening. It saves the power, money, and uh, ensures safety. Also, try to buy the equipment with the optimum uh, power rating of the equipment. Okay. Uh, also, like uh, we always suggest that don't use the like very old equipment. It consumes more uh, energy because that's also another fact. So, I wanted to make a separate session on what is energy consumption. We already discussed about the power rating. Now, I'm going to discuss about energy consumption in the coming video. Stay tuned. Uh, thank you so much for watching this video if you are uh, watching our channel first time i request you to like this video also share this particular video for the older stakeholders give your valuable comment for my improvement also don't forget to subscribe my channel thank you thanks again happy learning have a great day in this session i just discussed the brief idea about power rating thank you all thank you for watching this video again